The question number 2.250. The two chunks of metals with heat capacity C1 and C2 are interconnected by a rod of length L and cross sectional areas S and fairly low heat conductivity K. The whole system is thermally insulated from the environment and uh, at a moment T is equal to 0. The temperature difference between the two chunks of metals equals delta T naught. Assuming the heat capacity of the rod is negligible, find the temperature difference between the chunks as a function of time. So let us make the diagram. Suppose these are two metallic chunks which are connected by this rod. Let us uh, assume that heat capacity of this is C1 and it is C2. Thermal conductivity of the rod is K and cross sectional area is equal to S. Let us assume at T is equal to 0, temperature of this chunk is T1 and it is T2 and T1 is greater than T2. So at T is equal to 0, T1 minus T2 is equal to delta T0. At T is equal to T, let us assume it will be T1 dash and it is T2 dash and this temperature difference T1 dash minus T2 dash we have to calculate and let us assume this is delta T. I am assuming T1 is greater than T2 so heat will flow like this and it is given that the whole system is thermally insulated from the environment so heat is being conducted only through the conduction. So thermally insulated that means heat is conducted only mode of heat transfer is the conduction. It is also given that assume the heat capacity of the rod is negligible so that the rod is not absorbing any heat. If rod is not absorbing any heat, we can assume the rod to be in a steady state at all the times. So heat capacity is negligible that means rod can be assumed to be in a steady state all the times. Now using the equations, I am writing the heat transfer through conduction and equation of heat current I. So I can be written as I is dq by dt, the rate at which it is being flowing and I am writing this equation for some general time t is equal to t. So it will be k and area is given as s and temperature gradient it will be T1 dash minus T2 dash divided by and the length of the rod is given as L so this will be L so this is the value of heat current through this rod now we can relate this heat from the temperatures of uh, this these chunks heat is flowing out so the temperature of this chunk will decrease with time it is going into this temperature will increase with time so i am writing for suppose this is let's say a and this is b for a i can write equation like this this dq by dt the same dq by dt for it same decuberity flowing through this rod and same decuberity for this B. So dq by dt can be written as C1 dt1 dash by dt. And since this temperature is decreasing with time, I am putting a minus sign here. It is also equal to I. And this decuberity is also equal to, according to this, its temperature is increasing. So it can be written as C2 d t2 dash by dt our focus should be on to find an expression for temperature difference so i am here we are getting the temperature difference here here we are getting the two different expressions d t1 dash by dt d t2 dash by dt i am separating this term i am writing this term as d t1 dash by dt this is equal to 
put this here minus i upon c1 in the similar way d t2 dash by dt i am writing it as i upon c2 now further subtract these two equations such that we can get t1 dash minus t2 dash the function of t1 dash minus t2 dash so i am subtracting this one and two i am doing one minus two by one minus two dt one dash by dt minus dt two dash by dt this is equal to it is uh, minus i by c1 it will be minus i by c2 and now we get d by dt t1 dash minus t2 dash this is equal to minus i 1 by c1 1 by c2 <coughs> i am taking this term as lambda it will be minus i lambda and the value of i we can put from here i am assuming let's say this is delta t d by dt of delta t minus lambda and for, for i i can write k s by l and t1 dash minus t2 dash it is also delta t a simple differential equation we can form like this it can be written as d delta t by delta t integrate minus lambda ks by l dt a simple integration the limit for temperature difference initially it is delta t naught at this time it is delta t time from 0 to t a simple integration will result and the next steps are here it is ln delta t by delta t naught it will be minus lambda ks by l into t and after eliminating this log delta t this will become delta t naught e raised to power minus lambda ks by l into t and lambda is 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 so this is the final answer to this problem we can see that delta t temperature difference is varying exponentially temperature difference is decreasing exponentially the graph if we draw delta t versus time it will be something like this it is delta t naught initially and ultimately it will become zero finally the temperatures of the two chunks will become equal now we can interpret the fairly low heat conductivity if heat conductivity is low if this is higher then e raised to power minus this will be higher and temperature will decrease very rapidly if k is higher if k is low then temperature difference will decrease slowly so we can write a conclusion k low means delta t decreases slowly k high delta t decreases fast that means if k is high then the temperature of both will become equal quickly if k is low then it will take some time to temperature become equal